Okay. Who's in charge, guys? Okay. Who's in charge? I'm, I'm the bailiff manager here. William. What's your name? Uh, mine's uh, Williams. William David. Okay. Yeah. Can I see your ID, please? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Can I get a proper look? Okay, they're here. It's short, it's short, that's not okay. a proper ID card. Okay. Right, there's, no, 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 it's a one way conversation. That's no, the notice you've been given. No, I don't want the notice. That's the notice you've been given. Here to carry out an eviction if you laugh in the car. This okay. is your. This is your rules you need to be going by. No, Look at it or not, let me make this very clear. There's going to be no peaceful entry. This is with the High Court Chancery. We will protect this property up to and including death. There'll be no peaceful entry. If anyone crosses this threshold, maximum violence will be used. 11 o'clock will be carried out. The and maximum day. violence will be used, we'll including report. weapons if need be. Okay. We'll report the police, sir. You can call the police. All they can, all they can do, all they can do, your ID's upside down. All they can do is prevent a breach of the peace. It's unlawful for them to get involved in a civil matter. No, no. Coming out of court, the judge said, you're free to leave. You didn't leave. No, I still, I still had questions. So you started questioning the judge? Yeah, he didn't like what it. Happened? Well, he had a dig at my personality on the record, didn't he? We'll have to get that up. Um, he's just basically didn't want me to say stuff, because the problem they've got is, since day dot, he's been trying to help them to bury the case. If I didn't go and do my research, they would have laid it on the file, which means put the old case in the bottom drawer, hope I forget, and they'll attack me in the future. So that's what he's tried to do. He's tried assisting them, and he thinks I'm fucking stupid. Just do no use of cooperation through the Crown agents. I think he's back. Where are you going? I think what you're seeing there is actually a walk of shame. The judge threatened to arrest me four times in there, and the police come all over, um, giving it the Bingham from Wigan. They've all got all their weapons and shit on them. Um, so they're here intimidating witnesses, is what they do. No worries, you're not getting Stand in front of the doors! Did the police and the Crown Prosecution Service try to stitch a man up with a crime he did not commit? Let's begin. Destination Chester Crown Court. I arrived at Chester Crown Court. There were three people outside that I had previously met before on my travels. I formally greeted them and they told me that they had been refused entry to the public court. After a brief chat outside the court with these three men, I then proceeded to enter the public court building. I was instantly stopped from entering the court building and discriminated against. The reason given from the security operative for denying myself entry to the public court building was only based on his first impression that I seemed to know these three men. This was not only discrimination, he was now identifying himself to be a bigot. Is there anything I can reasonably say or do to persuade you, you to come out peacefully? Why do you keep producing that? You are here to prevent a breach of the peace. Correct. You are not That's here it. to assist bailiffs. So yeah, you're not. Okay. I can see we're not getting any further yeah, with that. You've got to check the law, mate. You need to check the law. The judges won't even sign any papers. No, no. Why won't you let us see the warrant? Why won't they let us see the warrant? Let's get on the record, they get two police at the back there, looking over the gate and through the thing. Right. They're, clued, they're definitely colluding. Yeah. We, we basically need to call an external police force. Right, which force? What, what police force? Someone don't lie, no, 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 you know you can get a chance. Don't so, need to uh, what was your address on the record? Yeah, that's, that's me, honestly. Uh, you're the by yeah. Three you eight nine fours, me, mate. And she's above. So, him and her. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So, with... Cheers, guys. Just do no use of cooperation through the Crown agents. That's what I'm doing. Where are you going? Hey, Mikey. Well, no, I think what you're seeing there is actually a walk of shame. They wouldn't let me in court today, but I managed to get in eventually, and I went straight into the press box. Yeah. And you had a little smirk on your face, didn't I, you? I, I was pissing myself. You should have seen the, the, the lizard woman, the one serving the devil at the front, wherever she was, her face, because she cannot deny you entry because of, obviously, your, um, your media. So she was not impressed that she had to let you in. She had no Just choice. A quick reference. The police brought some charges against you, didn't they? Oh, yes. Emergency yeah. worker assaulting you, is that correct? So the, the charges they brought, so I think most people who follow this story kind of got the gist of it. The long and the short is um, there was a dispute with the, the, the landlord. Um, it was still very much a dispute. Um, bailiffs come to try and evict out the property um, and they were supported by 15 police who smashed all my back windows. No, no! 
Oh, don't get fucking prick. There's a woman there. Can't do nothing. We'll go then. You're going in the bathroom, isn't it? Got your fucking film. You're in the bathroom. You're not all fucking cut. You're not getting in. You haven't shown no ID, no warrant. You're not getting in. Stand in front of the door. You policemen standing around watching this for all yeah, yeah, you need to fucking de escalate this now. You ain't getting in, mate. No, no, no. The prosecution have consented. They've admitted they should never smash the windows. You got hit as well. Drank. Yeah, I got assaulted by my chief. got drank out through the glasses. Yeah. Yeah. And the police stood and watched him. Yeah. That's why I shut down and told me that they're here to keep the peace. That's the case law that you need to look at. R versus white. Dennis do anything. R versus white. They're not allowed to. The, anyone can defend their property. Okay. Yeah. So when the let's have a look at it then. Let's have a look at it then. That's she's just shown the back of a county court seal and it's not on the warrant. What I've read on the file today is all the case law that I was given the police on the day, which removes their ignorance to the fact that they should have been arresting the bailiffs. The prosecution have admitted that the police and the bailiffs have committed criminal damage. It's a criminal offence. Yet not one of them has been suspended, arrested or investigated, and the judge is refusing to look into this. So he's in contempt of court. As far as I'm concerned, he witnessed the whole of prosecution being in contempt of court. The assault and emergency worker, that was after I'd been arrested. They took my phone off me, wouldn't let me contact my 88-year-old 80, 80 father, who nearly died over this, by the way, because he didn't speak to me for five days. One sec, what's your name? Mr Blackburn. Right, we need your details, mate. You've just, you've reached the peace. I walked in that court and I saw three police officers, one in plain clothes, two in uh, full uniform. Yeah, yeah. And also there was actually a lot it's of... It's intimidating staff. witnesses. So bearing in mind, my claim's going against the whole of the Cheshire Constabulary and the courts, yet they've got them there to intimidate me. I suggest you look at your rules and regulations. You have to. Give us the paperwork. I've got a call to the right. right, take that. One of you take that and read that. Because you're about to make a big mistake. These are your rules and regulations. The judge threatened to arrest me four times in there, and the police come all over, um, giving it the Bingham from Wigan. They've all got all their weapons and shit on them. Um, so they're here intimidating witnesses, is what they do. I mean, it's the same reason, on the 12th of December, the same firearms officer that committed perjury in Phil's case, he hasn't been arrested or investigated, and the knock-on effect of that, he was heading the team who threatened to kill me on the 12th of December. What's to be that? turned up for repossession in arms is somewhat... Is ludicrous? Is absolutely ludicrous. You did a speech waking your dress because the information last time they said they were threatened. They weren't threatened! So what that's, a, that's a lie! You've been lied to! Okay. We've got a video to prove it. Do you want to come and see the video? You bring it out with you or get someone to bring it out. We're happy to speak to you if you want to get everybody outside the property first. Okay. Well. We're at 7 30 in the morning. 7 30 in the morning. Can't you just. <laughs> All right. What? Police in the back of the car. Sorry? It's in the address. Say again? Sorry, I missed that. It's in the address. I missed that. I missed that. Say that again. No, what did you say before that? I missed what you said before that. Come out and talk to colleagues further down. They'll explain. Be more Come out and talk to colleagues further down? Yeah, the car. We need to get you out of the house. Why? It's outside the house. We need to speak. No, that's not lawful. You can't come without a warrant. Okay, we have a warrant. And suddenly say that... Can we, can, okay, you, you have a warrant. Can we see it then, please? It'll be... I'll explain further down to me. Come out and explain it to you. Wait until soon. Why do we have to come out to be have this explained to us? Pardon? I'm, why do we have to come out and sit in a car to have this explained to us? Adventure of a threat of a possible firearm inside the address. There are no firearms inside this address. Firearms officers. The police are actually just leaving right now. There's another police vehicle over there just leaving. It's fucking ridiculous. And uh, this, is, this is what the public funds are going on, look. These fucking arseholes coming here to let the courts be illegal. So yeah, the assault and emergency workers, they confiscated my phone off me, I was pissed off. So I reached out to the cell hatch, grabbed the copper's water and fucking lobbed it, that was it. Um, so the, the judge already called bullshit and got rid of that on the last one. So again, the good, the good thing today, what we got on the record, is um, abusive process. That now becomes a witness for my private criminal prosecution uh, because I'm going for malicious prosecution. Um, and I've got about another seven after that as well for all my unlawful arrests this last year and a half, two years, just from speaking the truth. They don't fucking like it. They hate being represented in there. I mean, I'm not even happy with the fact they, they, they stayed the case, which means it's chucked away and they can't do nothing about it. But again, the judge is very 
biased in the sense that he's sitting there giving them all top tips what they should have done to get a successful prosecution, yet he wouldn't let me get on the file with the castle doctrine uh, and the case law protecting me in the fact that I'd done nothing wrong. At the point I said there will be no peaceful entry, uh, I, will, I, I will defend this property up to and including death, and I'll use weapons if I feel the need. Um, that wasn't a, 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 an expression of violence. That's saying, if you do this, I'm going to do this. And they choose to do that. And then by do, them doing that and climbing over the wall, they've then tried to go with a fray that they had hurt your feelings because of my fucking words and my actions. You, you, you can't fucking make it up. I've turned up at court today, this morning, to get access, and I find you outside with two others. Yep. Why weren't you allowed in? So we weren't allowed in because of the alleged behaviour of us being here last time. Yeah, but last time um, I got assaulted by the security guard. I started recording the security guard for my um, evidence of the assault. Uh, then a police officer came in recording on his body cam. So I said to him straight away, the law that you're using to record me, I'm using to record you. Uh, I repeated that another two times. He uh, threatened me with arrest. So under duress, I left because he had weapons on him. Um, then I come out, established that he was a uh, trustee because he is a, in a trusted position in society. So he's a trustee and that makes me the beneficiary. Um, at this point, he's given me a claim number. He's called me a um, victim and then he's left. Then 30 minutes later, the same officer has come back with another five of them. They've arrested me, took me to the police station um, and let me go five hours later with no charge. I did notice that you very politely tried to correct the judge in this matter yeah. and he very rudely pointed his finger at you more than once. I mean, what's the best way to articulate this for fucking old, oh, what's his name, Stephen Ash Everett? What's the best way to articulate it? He's an obnoxious fucking rude cunt. Um, who needs to wind his fucking neck in. Uh, he's a fucking judge. Don't know who the fuck he thinks he is. He's not above the law. Everyone's equal in the law, and no one's above the law. Um, he won't stand under, under the maxims of God, uh, under the maxims of law. I, I, I don't know how he can qualify to be a judge, because to be a judge, you need to do over your powers and your authority from God. But he's not been able to abuse an oath, and the only oath you've got is your oath to God. So he's not produced that. So as far as I'm concerned, he's acting ultra vires. And the only reason he's, they've got rid of this is because they know I know at least enough shit, because if this goes in a higher court, it's going to be a lot more trouble. And I'm, I can assure Sure, you now I'm going to be pushing this to the highest court as possible. Like I told me in the court today, this court's inferior to deal with this matter. It's, four, it's evident. There's four people, one including myself, denied access to the court today. Everyone was denied access. I've literally got here, I've got the law on this, right? Um, under Criminal Procedure Rule 6. Point six nine, um, and there's other case law on this, uh, and other rules and regulations. Court that, and, the, and there's the part, the Justice is, is not just meant to happen, it's meant to be seen to happen, which means public access to the courts, unrestricted. Now, I've, I've got on bank to rights on this as well. I mean, there's, there's case law on this. You can't do a collective punishment over an individual's misbehaviour. They accused with no proof of claim because there was no, they didn't succeed on the charge or get a conviction when they kicked Steve out last time. But apparently because of his behaviour, no one's allowed in the court, which is a collective punishment. So I've got that bank to, to rights on the record as well, if they had the little clock thing going. Um, just whichever way you look at it, it's all just twisted and fucking crooked. And if you want to have a little bit of fun, wander up past that statue and have a look at the fire hydrant, and the numbers are 666. Six, six. Fucking says it all, doesn't it? Well, You've refused to provide any documentation. Yeah, we, so what I need to see, the I need to see the warrant. Yeah. I need to see your license to remove goods. No. No, I need to see all of it, mate. No, you can see the warrant. There's the warrant. No, 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 Let me no, 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 hold the warrant, because you'll no doubt take it and I won't get no, it back again. No, I won't take it. I'm not going to take it. We're recording, sir. Okay. No, you can see the warrant. Well, you're not, okay. It's not a warrant. What I'm going to do... He's not letting okay. me see the warrant. We're going to call, uh, carry out the eviction you come here. here. No, you're not. What, I suggest, what, what I suggest you do is one way or another, you've got to leave the premises. No, okay? no, 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 it's a simple matter. matter. That's going to happen. It's a simple matter. It's a simple matter. It's a simple matter. It's a simple Give him the warrant. Or we will see what he wants. He won't give him the warrant. We're recording it, so we're not going to... You're not, you're not. Right, we're going to carry out... Just your way, they try coming into the property with using violence. It's a civil matter. They, they can't touch. They, they've, they've got. They can't touch anything. You, you're. It's assault. No, you can't. You're not. It's, it's assault. If they touch, it's assault. They're not. It, as long as it's a peaceful. Okay. It's a, just ask you, please, all of you. You've got to leave the premises. No. The eviction is being carried out. No, it's not. Okay, you can leave peacefully. One way or another, you're going to leave the premises no, we're not. today. Uh, what have you got there? So was that a threat of violence you just made? Do you just threaten violence? You just threaten violence? You can't touch. Get off this property. 
Get off it now. Go. Can you just move, please, so we can just get in? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, get inside. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Have you seen the warrant? I'm out from a colleague's seen the warrant. No, no. No, don't touch me, that's assault. No, it's just an assault. No, that's assault. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. Can you move so I can see? Oh, they're talking to me, but stop assaulting me. No, no, he's assaulting me. I'm, I'm making sure this, this is an assault. No, no, you can't. Tell me, get off me now. Do not touch me. Case law. Do not you touch me. Do not want to touch me. It's not a case law. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch No. Excuse me. He's a touch. The locksmith to come. Excuse me. He's just assaulted me. He's just pushing me. I'm not moving. The reason is, but he's trying to get in. Get your hands off me now. Get your hands off me now. He's got no right. Get your hands off me now. Has he shown you the papers? Yeah, he hasn't shown the papers. This may not encourage or touch. He's coming to pull into three parties to assault. allow a bailiff this to enter the property. And that is the police. This is, is a touch of not happening. Us. They're not allowed to touch Anyone us. Anyone comes on this property, you're going to be trapped. Don't put trapped. Make sure that cop, the cop that won't take the report, take his name down. But we need your numbers, mate. He's just assaulted me. He's not, you're not touching me. You're not allowed to touch me. That's assault. Do not touch me again. Do you understand? So you to me. I'm telling you, do not I've touch me. To move numerous times. Well, I'm not moving. You're not allowed to touch it. Just put your ego to bed, mate. Turn around and fuck off. You're not coming do into not the property. Do not touch me. If you assault me again, just fucking knock him out. I will do. Just wait down here. Well, it's an officer, he's in his well, pension, and he's six in a place camp. It's a civil matter. It's a civil matter. They're not allowed to touch you, mate. You need to get, get up to date on the law. They're not allowed to touch you. It's not... They, that we've we've noticed the court the court is in appeal, yeah. Are you guys living here, or are you? I'm not living here now. Oh, right, okay. Um, but what I'm not doing is allowing them to, to be assaulted. They, if they assault me, yeah, I'm I'm going to defend myself. They're not allowed to touch me. You need to. Right. Do, that's you're common assault. assault. You're on the road. It's common assault. assault. At the moment, they're trying to get onto the property. They yeah, but they're not allowed. No, no, they're not. No, they've got no power to do no. nothing. No, 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 so they're acting unlawfully. No, they haven't. So the paper has been shown. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. Green zero eight oh four. They haven't been shown. No, the warrant doesn't give you the right to touch anyone. It has to be peaceful. Right, okay. It has to be peaceful. So they have shown it to you then. No. You need to you need to get up on the law. Just because that piece of paper is not to give them authority to do what they think that they're doing. They're breaking the law. They've breached the peace. You've been called because they've breached the peace. They're not allowed right, to touch okay, me. So it says enforcement agent acting unlawfully. How are they acting unlawfully? They He's just assaulted me for one. He's just assaulted me. They're showing you the papers. No, it's not. He's shown us anything. He's a Guys, it's misrepresentation by Ford under, under the Ford Act 2006. It's a fraudulent woman. There's no judge. Yeah, but they're not. They're not. They're not being somebody else. They're not pretending to be anyone else. So it's not misrepresentation. No, they haven't got the correct one. Acting unlawfully. Court seal. Yeah. The, show me a court seal document. Have you got one of them on there? What, what is it? We're, 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 in, we're in the Chancery Court. Yeah. There's no. no court. They've not got any warrant sealed. They won't show it us. It's, it needs to have a seal on it. It's not sealed. It's a fraudulent warrant. It's a corporation. Okay, so do you, do you own the property? Do you, who, who's it's here? It's here. I, I live here. I rent the property. Here. Right, you rent the property, yes. do you? And, right, she's, okay. and she's not being Are you served. registered as a tenant now? Yes. Right, okay. So the I'm assuming these these are trying to serve the papers for a reason and they would have no, they're trying to, to you. No, they're trying to do it. Alright, okay. Yeah. So yeah. I've got a court order then to evict the tenant. Let's have a look at it. He's got a grinder. Don't touch me. You, I've already right, listen, I've, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I've right, I've got a, don't right. touch us. Do not right, touch me. Do not touch me. Right. We're, we're, we're going to move no, you away. No, you're not. No, you're not. Right no, you're not. To stand we're going to put hands on you and remove you away from here no. in order that we can carry out the eviction. So you're not allowed to touch us now. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You go, fella. Keep on selling. Okay, there you go. No. Get off. Get off. Get the fuck off. Get the fuck out of here now. Get off. Get the fuck out of here. You're falling like Fuck out of here. Get away. Get. Obviously, you arrived at court. You can't get in. Yep. 
What kind of conversations took place? Did you re record anything? Yeah, we've got a couple of recordings just stating that they're all um, corporations and they've got no jurisdiction over us because under the Crown Agents Act 1995, Section 13B and a couple of more sections proves that they're a corporate status. Uh, then you can go into the Fraud Act 2006, Section 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Section 13, which further proves that it's fraud. Then you can go into the Law Commission on Fraud, um, Section 1.6, I think, and the whole of page 10, and Section 7.29, that proves that it's all fraud. Yeah, just, just really careful when we go again. They're on the other side of the glass. Yo, can you smash something if someone's on the other side of the glass? Shame on you, all. Shame on you, all, mate. Me. What are you doing? You're meant to be. This is meant to be peaceful. Yeah, and he's just assaulted there. You Shame on you. Shame on you. Move away. No, no, no. No, no. I oh, do, you fucking prick! There's a woman there! Fucking Can't do nothing, we'll go then! You're not leaning in the breast in me! Got your fucking film! You're leaning in the breast in me, you're not all fucking crook! You're not getting it, you haven't shown no ID, no worries, you're not getting it! Ah, fucking numpty! Ah, numpty! Ah, numpty! Ah, yeah! So you've got some paperwork here, haven't you? Yeah, so obviously I was told I needed to put in a defence statement, so I spent a fuck ton of hours creating a 29 page document which they didn't bother to read. And there's a reason they didn't want this on the record. In this document there, I, I absolutely screw them up inside out, they are beyond any reasonable doubt um, who the real criminals are in this. And on that point there, the judge should have flipped this in my opinion. To be fair, he, Roy was quite a nice man, he was just doing, doing what he was told. Uh, which we explained the Nuremberg trials to him and all stuff like that and he, he's got his own mind, his own conscience and he needs to make his own decisions. He was thrown to the wolves technically by the people who told him what to do. Certainly was, yeah. And uh, we're still waiting for the manager. We've been here since 10 o'clock. The manager was meant to come down. The manager hasn't turned up. Well, my opinion of the court manager, he's a chicken. <laughs> yes, he's a big chicken hire. Obviously, the first thing I had to do was get rid of the get rid of the charge. Now, this is people with hurty feelings because they're scared. Now, the, the thing you got is in their frame of work, they're expected. They're a legal fiction, is what they're acting as. And as that legal fiction, be it a copper or the bailiffs, they are expected to tolerate a certain amount of abuse because of the job they do. No one fucking likes them. So that that completely quashes that. Um, I've gone on to then, what I've done is I've rebutted the prosecution's case and claim and they've completely ignored this because what you've got going through this case, you've got them relying on the, the head bailey's word that procedures are followed. As you go through this in their disclosure, the prosecution, they admit um, that they shouldn't have smashed the windows. Uh, what was the other thing? When you say they shouldn't have smashed the window, who shouldn't have? The bailiffs and the police. Because the police were there, didn't stop them, so they're, they're part of it. They and might acting have... under an alleged warrant. An alleged warrant. I mean, this, this warrant here, I mean, evidence down the King's Bench, although we haven't got anything in writing about this, is, is you know, my best friend who was there on the 16th, he's going to do an affidavit of fact to prove this. And the criteria of a warrant, it does involve, uh, uh, you know, e even if you don't have the stamp on there, which you're meant to have, the minimum you need in there is a name, because you need to attach the name to the office to validate the document. Otherwise, you're looking at, when they're sending out letters with a county court, little county court stamp, that's not an embossed stamp. That's not a 3D stamp that doesn't impress anything um, that's just a cartoon art which anyone can do and that's all these people are doing so this is i'll just flash that on there really if you're the screenshot that's the case law that was given to the police on the day that i read out to the judge banging the police to rights that between this and the confession of the criminal damage at that point there all the police should have been arrested and all the bailiffs and they should all be suspended and under investigation for criminal damage just as foreplay but obviously the judge and i didn't agree with that one of the other bits I was presenting there, because it was an implied right of access, and people need to understand this. Um, where the postman can go, so can the pricks. So what people need to do is seal off a post box, put a little post box thingy, or, or the letter box, put a post box thingy at the boundary of the border, and ideally a lock gate and everything else, and put an implied right of access removed and a private property sign. Um, straight away, case law for removal implied right of access is check out Davis, D-A-V-I-S versus Lyle, is that? L-I-S-L-E, 
King's Bench Division 1936, uh, and that's evidence beyond all reasonable doubt implied right of access. This is backed up by international law. As soon as that's private jurisdiction, implied right of access, that's no different to a foreign country. So they had no jurisdiction, including the King, to get onto that. And this is what these pricks kept overlooking. If we cover the Castle Doctrine, just very briefly, um, cha cha cha, where the fuck is it? So the maxim in law, uh, an Englishman's castle is his home. Home to modern legal codification, uh, this dictum, whatever that is, uh, originated in England during the 17th century. Since then, it has been established as common law in terms of safety and shelter of home. Sir Edward Coke, an English politician and legal mind, has referred to this point in his famous book, uh, The Institutes of Laws of England, published in 1628, in which he has stated it as, for a man's house is his castle and then some friendship. So everyone's home is his safe refuge. Later, the British Prime Minister, George Grenville, he defined in 1763, using Pitt and Elder's remarks, the poorest man may in his cottage bid defiance to all forces of the crown. It may be frail, its roof may shake, the wind may blow through it, the storm may enter, the rain may enter, but the King of England cannot enter. This law has then become a rule of thumb to stop anyone from entering the house of a person. So I don't know what they don't get about that. I've then got the case law backing up what a true warrant is, proving it's all bullshit. What's the other very pertinent bit to get in here? There was another bit I was going to get in there, bear with me. Um, so, I mean, obviously my argument was the fact that the Crown conceded that they shouldn't have smashed anything. They've admitted they committed criminal damage. So, obviously, you know, I thanked them in my documentation for the Crown conceding to the acts of criminal damage. But again, it begs the question, why are they not suspended or being investigated? Another uh, uh, expressed in a maxim of law um, is to cause no harm, no injury or loss, but to defend yourself, your family, your community and your property with all reasonable force necessary from all of those that seek to do you wrong. So, whichever way you point this, whichever way you want to paint this fucking picture, Picture, I am the only man out of every single person involved, including the, it, as, as far as the bailiffs, the courts and the police go, I am the only man, the only man in this entire shit show that's acted in law. Hi. Hi, Boris. Uh, we've spoken to the representatives, they're going to try and talk to that copy of the paperwork. Okay. Once that's done, I can, I can give that to you. Okay. Are you happy for us to go and search the premises under the Section 8 warrant? Um, I'm I'm happy if the tenants, are, but we we can't let the bailiff near the property. That's the only okay. condition. Okay. The, 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 the police are going in to enact. Because the, this has nothing to do with the bailiffs whatsoever. I know, but what what, how, what all I want they've told the tenants that they're going to be assisting the bailiffs, the, the police okay. side. So I need an assurance from a senior officer that that's not the case. Yeah, and then we can execute a search warrant. That's not a problem. Okay. But we got what we can't have is um you know through the back door the, the bailiff going through because there's outstanding issues do you, do you know what i mean and, and it's um we can't so i I'm, i'll supervise a search um, you, you wouldn't be allowed to enter the property i won't be allowed in no. even though i own it no because there's, there's section eight the, the warrant is for police officers to search okay so if if it, okay so the police can search yeah. but obviously i need to make sure that we, we the bailiff doesn't come in the bailiff's not here at the moment. Right, I know, but, I know, but what, I don't trust you. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, don't mean, I'm not, I don't mean I don't trust you. The police, when when you see what happened the other day, yeah, and it, it's they, they broke the law, and they're going to break the law again if the police facilitate it. Okay. Now, but, I, you, you know, we can't stop that search warrant. That's that's a warrant. That's yeah. not a, that's, you know. that, And that's what the moment... I know, but they're, we want to we want to deal with the, any criminal matters. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we, we, well, we, we notified the bailiff. We notified the bailiff. Yeah, how do, what 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 doesn't add up is yeah. how come the bailiff is here if you're just doing that search warrant? Why, why did they? How do they know? How did they know to come here? So the, the bailiffs have obviously spoken to senior officers within Cheshire Police. Yes, uh, and explain explain their stance, which is a, which is a, a civil matter. Yeah, yeah. I imagine between you and the bailiffs. Yeah. Um, which is this this matter then obviously what was reported to us may be different to what the, the tenants are saying yeah to what happened on the day yeah but we were informed that certain threats were made that there were threats that there were weapons in the address that would be used right well that's i i can show you all of the footage of that and that's not true no so, it's an allegation yeah yeah, yeah. Why we've so, so, yeah i understand so, so, you've been you've been involved you've been brought into something because and they're trying to gain an advantage from it all i'm saying is you i don't want to restrict you doing your business yeah. what i'm not having 
and, and I'm entitled to do that, is allow that bailiff in because he hasn't got the warrant and I haven't seen it. But we're going to yeah. try and sort that so you yes. can see yes. it. So, okay. so, what, so what I'm going to do is try and do is get the, a copy of that paper which the bailiff's got okay. so, you can, so you can see it. Yeah. Um, so that's obviously the the, the uh, pace warrant. Yeah, and is that was the judge sign that? Or? No, it's a magistrate. It's, yeah. it's an electronically used now. Uh, we need the name of the uh, just. I need the name of the magistrate. That's all. To sign that. Okay, I can try and find that out yeah. for you. Just to finalise on that, coming out of court, the judge said you're free to leave. You didn't leave. No, I still I still had questions. So you started questioning the judge. Yeah, he didn't like what it. Happened? Well, he had to dig up my personality on the record, didn't he? We'll have to get that up. Um, He's just basically didn't want me to say stuff because the problem they've got is since they dot, he's been trying to help them to bury the case. If I didn't go and do my research, they would have laid it on the file, which means put the old case in the bottom drawer, hope I forget, and they'll attack me in the future. So that's what he's tried to do. He's tried assisting them and he thinks I'm fucking stupid. Um, what's my point with that? So the point I was trying to get, they've not let me read this onto the record. Although it's officially on the record because it was served to them, he didn't let me read this out on the record. And the reason they didn't want me to read this out on the record is because beyond all reasonable doubt, a reasonable minded, reasonable person, average person, would go from back to front of this document and there'll be no doubt at all in law who the criminals are. And that's that. I did so, notice, I did notice that the police officers stepped forward from sitting down and looked your way when you wouldn't leave. Yeah, yeah. They was trying to intimidate me because they, they was trying to, they kept threatening to shove me downstairs and do the talking bit while I weren't there. He did threaten you, the judge. He, thre he threatened me four times. Now, We've had pure and private communications with the judge and I've warned him not to threaten me, that he won't be tolerated. So I'm now going to sue the judge, uh, we're going to sue the security, um, and we're going to sue the fucking police. What I'm saying is the bailiff hasn't got a warrant for today, yeah? It, it, that's a previous warrant, and you're saying it's a civil matter. So they need to be dismissed because you're dealing with a criminal matter in the same way that I'm not allowed to go to the property, they need to be told to fuck off. When you say dismissed, they're not... They're not I know, here. but so we can't dismiss someone who's not here. Do you but, know what I mean? But but we, what you can't but what we can't do is promise you. But they're not going to come along because we we are we're not in a position to do that. Yeah, but if they do come along, yeah, then we need to be able to we need to be able to come along as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it, and you can't and, and if they. If you know it's not going to be peaceful, so they're breaching our peace, yeah? And you're there to uphold the law. Yeah. Now, if they breach our peace, and I'm telling you that that's what's going to happen, then the, the, the people need to be protected. They've got no rights to be there. So we're, I'm not giving them authority. It's not going to be peaceful. What we can't have is them use this to gain an advantage and, and, and ring up the police, one of his colleagues, and say, oh, there's weapons there. When there is, do you know what I mean? It's whether, where, you know, saying that there's illegal weapons there. On that day, they brought hammers into the property, yeah? We had, and, and we, we had a, a stick, <laughs> a mop, do you know what I mean? So they had a hammer and we had a mop. I, I wasn't there, so. We've got it all on video. So what I'm saying is if, I'm, you know, the police need to do the jobs, which is, I agree, you should, you need to do that job. But in addition, they can't, Reach our peace, and they haven't got a warrant because it's that was a previous one. So we. Well, I'll just make the documents. See if they'll allow us entry to to, to, to deal with the criminal matters, uh, and then we'll take from there. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. Cheers. Mate. See you. Cheers. Your guys just have to stop the oh, breach of the peace, and they're causing breach of the peace. And you're riding in the back of the mother. That's the police bringing the bailiff in. That was the bailiff being brought in by the police. Yeah. Yeah. Escorted in, yeah. in by the police. So it's all a fucking the bailiff bitch. Yeah. On the four eyed fucker. Like yeah. He assaulted me last time I was here. So that's the whole charade. I don't know who he is or something. Yeah. And you've got a handyman, bitch. Yeah. The guy who can get the yeah, man. Can yeah. Let him do what they're going to do and just re drill it, repossess it back. I was just going to say that. Yeah. No. Excuse me. Um, could you explain why there's. You've driven the bailiffs in in the back of that police car hi um, are you okay yeah not too bad um 
I've got that's my property, so I need to secure it. I just want to know why there's bailiffs in the back of the police car. Do you know? Um, the two I'll, bailiffs. I'll, I'll find out what's happening. For yeah. You. Okay. So, so that, um, we were told that they wouldn't be uh, in cahoots with the police, and they're in the back of that car that there. Um, so we need to secure that property, and if they uh, if they breach anything, then obviously we want to be protected by the police. Okay. It's basically you need to know your rights to people. It really isn't rocket science. I might sound like I know what I'm doing, but I'm kind of winging it on a fucking prayer. Um, the knowledge I've got is obviously a bit of YouTube videos, some of Mark Horn stuff, some of other people's stuff. Uh, and it's really like going to look into it and, and, and kind of sense what's real for myself. The big thing people need to take out of this is we don't have to be represented. There's nothing in law. To be represented is to have your legal fiction represented. And all you've got is people all getting paid from the same purse. Um, whose hands are tied by the SRA, the Solicitors Regulation Authority, and the Gay Bar Club, as I call it, the Bar Society. So their hands are tied. So they're tied to stay within that, that little area there to bat the ball about between each other, wasting everyone's time and fucking money, whereas I haven't got my hands tied from that. So I've got the world is my oyster. And this is what they fucking don't like. They do not like people representing themselves or representing others that aren't in this, because it's fucking them up. On that note, there's going to be a claim I'm going to be suing the motherfuckers over at the magistrate's courts there as well because they refused me uh, representing someone with full power of attorney the other day as well. But this is what it's about, guys. So we've got to do this, but more importantly, when these people act outside the law, we have to follow it through. Once we've sued a couple of judges, once we've sued a couple of the pigs uh, and, and, and sued a few bailiffs, this is what's going to change it in the country, guys. Um, so, so, yeah. And, and just finally then, um, see you later. See you later, alligator. But go and learn your rights, people. Seriously, learn your rights. If you don't know your rights, you ain't got any. It's pretty fucking simple law. No harm, no loss, no injury. Be on it, honourable in your contract. It ain't fucking rocket science. To break it down even further, where my freedoms, my freedoms end, where yours starts. And at that point where our freedom starts to collide, we have to have a meeting in the mind and create a contract so we can all live in peace. Oh, you did just mention YouTube and Google. A lot of people frown upon that. Yeah, but the people that, but, yeah, yeah, but the there. people, the people that frown upon it are the same people that get their fucking news or get their information from the BBC. Is it fair to say that Google and YouTube helped you today? Um, well, yeah, they all helped me. Google's helped me. That Bannerman's channels helped me. It all helps me because all this um, edutainment, which educational and entertainment at the same time. This is the thing, guys. Every single person watching this who guarantees sitting there thinking, oh, God, I wish I knew that much. You know more than you fucking know. And you'll surprise yourself in certain situations, the shit that comes out your mouth. And you're like, whoa, didn't know I knew that. But it's just going through, guys. Just remember, everything's a journey, everything's a process. And the one thing that won't stop is time. So no matter how hard anything is in life you're going through, be it legal, personal, or whatever it is, the, 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 the route to it is not don't take the long route around the storm. Fucking smash through that storm. Once the worst thing's happened, that can never happen again in your fucking life. Yeah, they've done their worst to me. They banged me up for 65 days. Fucking bring it on. I know what's in for that. So, and that's basically my last little, little life lesson of the day. Just do it, guys. Face these fucking fears. Smash through them fears. Realise on the other side of fear, you didn't fucking die and fucking grow, guys. The more of us that start to stand up, as soon as enough of us stand up and say, fuck you, it's game over, and learn that the, the word no is a full sentence, it's done.